Welcome back to Newsmax. Now Christmas is just around the corner. For most, Christmas is a time for family, friends, and holiday cheer. And for millions of Christians in America, it's a time for faith and affirmation of their beliefs. We're joined now by cardiologist Dr. Chauncey Crandall in his latest book, Touching Heaven, a cardiologist encounters with death and living proof of an afterlife. Dr. Crandall recounts his experiences with his patients that confirm the existence of heaven and God. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank us. you, Miranda. What inspired you to write this book? Well, you know what happened over a period of many years in training? There were recurrent events and stories in the hospital where people had died and gone to heaven. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just one event. You know, these are events that, uh, that I kind of kept in my mental data bank over a period of 25 years. Can and you share one of those experiences with well, us? Well, yes. You know, I had a woman that, uh, that passed in the hospital. Uh, she had a massive heart attack. She was up on one of the cardiac floors. Uh, she underwent a code status. Her heart went flatline. She was dead. Uh, they called people in to resuscitate her. And as she was being resuscitated, her body, uh, her spirit left her body. And she was over her body. She could see herself. She could see the doctors working on her. And she actually went to heaven. And she reported back after she came back uh, that heaven was a, a place of paradise that flowers were there, that children were there, that animals were there, that her loved ones were there, and in fact, they greeted her as she entered the thrones of heaven. What was that experience like to hear that from one of your patients? Well, it's, uh, it's not an unusual experience because I'm always listening and I'm always asking. But did and you always believe that? Well, I didn't believe it, you know, when I started my training. Mm -hmm. But what I saw was that people of faith had an experience with heaven when they passed and they died and they came back. Now you say you didn't always believe it, but there was some moment that had to happen to you where you were like, this is for real. This is really happening. Well, it, it was, it was at the Medical College of <laughs> Virginia. Mm -hmm. I ran the heart transplant program there. And there was a man that uh, was brain dead. And there was a African church that came in and prayed over that man. And he came back to life and he had a story of being in heaven. And that was my first time that I recognized that. Why, why, why that particular moment? Well, you know, when you're in medicine, you're studying all the time. Right. Just like you as a newscaster, we're busy, <coughs> we're busy, we're busy. But this was maybe an event that uh, uh, was the time that the Lord wanted me to know that he was real and that he existed. Now, does this just happen for patients who happen to be Christian or? Well, is, is you know, in terms of heaven or seeing Jesus, no. We've had Muslims that have seen Jesus. We've really? had Buddhists that have seen Jesus. So it's just not Christians. But there always seems to be a reason of the presence of God to these people. And you've actually sat down and prayed with some of your patients. Well, we right? pray all the time. We yeah. do. We believe in it. We believe in the power of prayer for healing. Uh, we use conventional medicine, but we pray and we see dramatic results. And, and what is that like? It sounds like it's almost like transformed you as a doctor in the way that you handle medicine, that you've well, seen a difference, that you've grown professionally. Well, you know, medicine can do so much. Right. Often we're uh, given a diagnosis that uh, may be untreatable, mm -hmm. uh, incurable. You know, where do we go from there? You know, we tell patients that we can pray and we can seek the Lord uh, for the healing of their bodies. And we've seen many miracles when we call on the name of Christ. We're, you know, we've talked about prayer can, can give people some hope, some comfort, um, but does it actually physically change someone's mental state or, or body? Like the, the physics yes, of Yes, I mean, yeah. I can tell you that we had an experience where we had a Vietnam veteran that came to the office and he had tormenting nightmares, mm -hmm. repeated nightmares daily, couldn't sleep. Uh, since Vietnam. His wife was concerned about him because it was getting out of control, mm -hmm. out of hand. Uh, we put him on antidepressants. We put him on medication. It didn't work. Uh, so one day I said, well, let me just pray for you. Let me just gently lay my hand on your head and call on the name of Jesus and pray mm -hmm. for the healing of your mind. And in fact, uh, after we prayed that day, he never had tormenting nightmares ever again wow. and was able to sleep through the night. So when you see 
an experience like that, it encourages you to keep going. We only have 20 seconds remaining, but just in a sentence, if you could, what do you hope readers get out of your book? Well, the main thing is that heaven is real, that paradise is waiting for us, mm -hmm. that we can call heaven down to earth also, and we don't have to suffer. We don't have to live in anxiety mm -hmm. because a better place is coming for all of us. Dr. Crandall, thanks so much for joining us here on Newsmax. Always a pleasure. Thank and you. again, the name of the book is called Touching Heaven, A Cardiologist Encounters with Death and Living Proof of an Afterlife.